Hey guys, Richie Richie again. Today in this video is now part 6 on the Mitsubishi Evo. So, at the moment I'm currently uploading the video right now for the Evo 5. Now, today I'm on the Evo 6. So, um, <clears throat> I've not got that much info on there, but let's see how much we can do for this. So, without any further ado, let's get started. But before I do, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe, comment down below what you guys think, hit the notification bell, so hit the notification bell, and hit all so you're alerted of when I make new uploads. Alright, <clears throat> without any further ado, let's get cracking. So, first off is overview. Uh, production is from January 1999 to August 2001. That was the year the first Fast and Furious movie was out. Now, next up is body and chassis. The platform is a CP9, so CP9A. It's related to the 6th gen Mitsubishi Lancer. Uh, next up is powertrain. The engine is a 2 liter, so 2 liter 4G63 inline 4 uh, turbocharged. Uh, so engine, 2 liter turbocharged 4G63 inline 4 engine. Power output, 276 horsepower with 373, so 373 newton meters, 275 pound-feet of torque. Transmission is a 5-speed manual. It's a 5-speed manual. Dimensions, uh, wheelbase, 2,510 millimeters, 98.8 inches. It says wheelbase length, 4, 000, length 4,350 millimeters. 171.3 inches width 1770 millimeters uh, 69.7 inches height between 1405 and 1415 millimeters 55 point so 55 55.3 to 55.7 inches curb weight between 1260 to 1300 to 1360 kilos, so it's 2778 to 2998 pounds. Almost 3000 pounds at that. Anyways, um, so let's move on. <clears throat> so, the Evo, Evo 6's uh, changes mainly focused on both cooling and engine durability. So, durability. It received a larger inner cooler, larger oil cooler, and new pistons, along with a titanium aluminide, so titanium aluminide turbine wheel for the RS model, so it's for the turbo, which was a first in the production car. So titanium aluminide, I think it's a mixture of both alum, um, titanium and aluminium, I think. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not sure. If I am, I apologize. I don't really know if it is a mixture of both aluminum and titanium. I don't know. I think it is. Anyway, so the Evo 6's changes um, mainly focused on both cooling and engine reliability. Not reliability. Cooling and engine durability. There we go. It received a larger intercooler. Larger, so it, re it received both a larger inner cooler, oil cooler, and new pistons along with a titanium aluminide turbine wheel for the RS model, which was a first in the production car. Output was rated at 276 horsepower at 6,500 RPM and maximum torque of 300 and 370, 373 newton meters. 275 pound-feet of torque, so, so so maximum torque of 373 newton meters, 275 pound-feet at 3,000 RPM. So I believe that's the same for the Evo 5 and 4, I think, and the Evo 3, I'm not so sure. So yeah, 3,000 RPM. The Evo 6, so the Evo 6 uh, received new bodywork, so new bodywork yet again, with the most, he, with the most Easily notable change being within the front bumper, where the huge fog lights were reduced in size and moved to the, and moved to the corners for better airflow. 
A new model was added to both the GSR and RS lineup, known as the RS2. Which that kind of sounds like the range for Audis, you know, like RS3, RS4, RS5, and all that stuff. So known as the RS2. So RS2, it was an RS with a few of the GSRs um, options. Another limited edition um, RS was known as the RS Sprint, an RS tuned by tuned by rally art so that's the tuning company for mitsubishi so yeah rally art in the uk to be both lighter and more powerful with 330 horsepower 330 330 horsepower that's pretty good it's not bad it's pretty good power up with 330 horsepower it's pretty good so yet another special edition uh, evo 6 was released so released in december 1999 the tommy mackinnon so the tommy mackinnon edition named named after finnish rally driver uh tommy mackinnon so there's like some anagrams like tommy mackinnon kimi raikkonen there's like some anagrams of like almost the same name almost as a reference from the Grand Tour. So yeah, Tommy Mackinnon, who's a Finnish racing executor and former driver, born June 26, 1964. So yet another special edition, um, Evo 6, was released in December 1999, the Tommy Mackinnon edition, named after Finnish uh, rally driver, Tommy Mackinnon, I mean, Tommy Mackinnon himself, who had won, who had won Mitsubishi for WRC, so for WRC, which stands for like World Rally Challenge, or not Challenge, World Rally Championship, there we go, so WRC stands, WRC stands for World Rally Championship, so yet another special edition Evo 6, so yet, a, yet another special edition Evo 6 was Released in December 1999, the Tommy Mackinnon edition, named after Finnish rally driver Tommy Mackinnon himself, who had won Mitsubishi four WRC drivers uh, championships. It featured a different front bumper with red and both red and black Recaro seats with em with embossed T Mackinnon logo. Uh, so it's like uh, the name for Tommy Mackinnon. So with an, with an embossed Tommy Mackinnon logo. Um, <clears throat> uh, Seventeen inch white N key uh, rims, a leather Momo steering wheel and shift knob, a titanium turbine that spooled up more faster, so spooled up much more quickly. Uh, front upper strut brace. <coughs> Or so, uh, titanium turbine that spooled up more quickly. Front upper, so spooled up more faster. Front upper uh, strut brace, lowered ride height. So with uh, tarmac stages in mind, and a quicker steering uh, ratio. Amongst other colors, the Evo Six came in either uh, red. That's for the Tommy Mackinnon edition only. So yeah, Tommy Mackinnon edition only, uh, white, blue, black, or silver with optional special decals replicating Tommy Mackinnon's uh, rally car's color scheme. This car is also uh, sometimes referred to as a Evo 6 and a, Evo six and a half, Evo Evo 6.5 or TME for short. Uh, TME is short for uh, so T TME is short for uh, Tommy Mackinnon edition. So TME for short. 4,092 units were produced in total, and exterior styling was similar to that of its predecessor, the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 5. 
So those units like rounded up is like close to 4,100 4, units, almost in total. If you had if you had eight extra egos there, it's almost 4,100 in total. So 4,092 units were produced in total, and exterior styling was similar to that of its predecessor, the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 5. Now we got the standard models, both the RS and the GSR. Starting off is RS, Rally Sport. It had, so it had a Rally Sport minimal interior, Rally suspension, rear 1.5 uh, way limited slip differential as opposed to AYC, active, active yaw control, shortened close ratio 5 speed manual gearbox, Optional and key, optional and key rims, uh, optional Recaro seats, optional air conditioning, uh, um, optional Brembo brakes, and optional power windows. For the GSR model, it has a five-speed manual gearbox, gauge package, AYC active yaw control, anti-lock brakes, Recaro front bucket. Uh, seats with the rear seats as well, automatic air conditioning, double DIN, um, <coughs> uh, audio, power windows, and sorry, power windows and Brembo brakes. Next up is the Tommy Mackinnon edition models, both same RS and GSR. So, starting off is the RS version. Same as the standard, it had. So same as the standard RS, it had a close ratio five-speed uh, gearbox. <coughs> but this time it had lowered ride height, and it had the Tommy Mackinnon edition. So Tommy Mackinnon edition front bumper, and a titanium turbine for the turbo, optional with the standard RS. Then we got the GSR version. So GSR version. So same as the standard G so same same as the standard GSR it had it was it had a lowered ride height. This time it had also Tommy Mackinnon edition uh front bumper, red, black, and green uh Recaro seats with an embossed T Mackinnon logo and 17 inch um Enki white wheels. And uh sorry, 17 inch Enki uh, white wheels, so white 17 inch Enki wheels or rims, so rims and a titanium turbine for the turbocharger. <clears throat> and that is it. So, for my next Evo video, will be about the seventh generation Evo, so the Evo 7 will be next. <sighs> so, less than halfway done. So, we've done 60% of that car, now we got just left around 40%, maybe 45, 50, I don't know, but we'll find out how much we got left. So we got Evo 7, 8, 9, then 10, discontinuation, and motorsports and awards. But first, Evo 7, out the way, and then we'll uh, do the other cars. So the other generations of the Evo, then the discontinuation discontinuation motorsports awards blah 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 and so anyway, and then i'll see what else i can do all right so that'll be it um so if you guys like this video like it subscribe comment down below what you guys think hit the notification bell and hit all so you're alerted of when i make new uploads all right so i'll be back in a little bit um uh, i'll see you guys soon in the next video but until then stay safe have a great day and I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Take care, folks. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.